Hey crafty friends, this is Julissa of Paper Gems by Jules and today I am highlighting the brand new Bevy of Balloons stamp and stencil bundle and it actually comes with two sets of stamps. A full background called Bevy of Balloons background stamp um, which creates all the black lines or whatever you choose to stamp with um, for the actual balloons and then it also comes with a stencil that's paired with that background so if you wanted to stamp the background and stencil it in you could use that. Today I am demonstrating how to use just a stencil. And then the other stamp set is called Cheers and Confetti Sentiment stamp set which is great because it fits the there's like chunky sentiments that fit into the this big balloon that I'm starting with. But the key to this video was going to be how to shade the balloon with a highlight using distress inks. Um, so what I'm doing here is I'm starting with the ink on the outside. So I'm kind of outlining the balloon mainly on the bottom going up but around the edges and leaving a little bit of a lighter white highlight like you would see in an actual balloon. Um, so you kind of have to have a little more of a heavy hand at the bottom and on the side depending on where you want your highlight. Um, and again you don't have to do this with all of the balloons you can definitely fill them in. Um, I have a couple of samples with coloring them in with Copics, um, filling them in really dark. You can kind of do whatever you want. So just don't feel like you're obligated. But I just wanted to show you this technique with uh, creating a little bit of a highlight and having that floaty look to the balloons. Um, for the stencils, what's great about this is that you can cover some of them so you don't have to use all of them. You can use these balloons as individual balloons so you can layer them together. I might, that just sparked an idea. So I might come back to that. Um, but, yeah, so this is the first layer of the balloon, and now I'm using the second sense, and I'm using another uh, Distress ink. This one is Salvage Patina. I think the lighter one, the purple one, was Shaded Lilac, in case you want the colors, if you want to mirror that. But I'll list that all in the blog, as well as um, any details below with links for stuff so you can see everything on the blog for sure. I'll list out all the products that I use and, and everything. Um, all right, so the same technique for the for the salvage patina. Um, I just like these colors. The other thing you can do, you can use a multitude of colors. So this doesn't have to be two, two different colors when you're sh shading this in. Sky's the limit. Um, so it's, it's a really fun stencil. Goes great with the stamp set but you can use them individually too, which is awesome. Um, I'll kind of let it be from here. It's super, super easy. It's, you know, something you'll get a hand up, a handle on, um, whether you use the ink blending. I like the dome ones for the, I think for the purple one, I have the dome one and then the, the salvage patina, I have the flat sponge applicator on here and I, it's a lot harder to work with. So if you have any questions with this technique, feel free to list them in the comments. Be happy to go over any, any specifics with you. Um, make sure to check out my blog for all the other details and links and definitely consider getting this whole bundle because it is worth it. There's so many things you can do with it and there'll be a lot of great samples on the website. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to hit like and subscribe. And again, if you have any questions, make sure to comment below. Thanks so much. Happy crafting.